اهلا اهلا كيف الحال ويلكم تو ليرن اربيك اونلاين ويت لبنى دومايا نوليدج از هافينغ ذا رايت انسر انتليجنس از اسكينغ ذا رايت كويشن سو وات از ذا كويشن اوف ذا داي وات از ذا ديفرنس بيتوين ترانزيتيف فيرب اند ان ترانزيتيف فيرب ان اربيك اوف كورس سو Arabic verbs are divided into two types. Transitive verb. Al-fi'l al-muta'addi, which is pronounced differently when it is indefinite. So this is the definite expression of transitive verb al-fi'l al-muta'addi. When it's indefinite, fi'l muta'addin. See the difference? المتعدي has the يا yeah in its end متعدين lost the long vowel يا yeah. instead the last consonant دال is nonated and in transitive verb الفعل اللازم or فعل لازم The transitive verb الفعل المتعدي from form 5 final week uh, the verb تعدى تعدى ending with the shortened ألف ألف مقصورة تعدى means to go beyond the limits is a verb who in addition to its subject requires a direct object why to complement the meaning of the sentence as the message cannot be finished without this element the vie very important element this is kind of an ambitious verb that keeps going above and beyond the boundaries the needy verb of objects the one that is never content with its subject and may have more than one object maybe two maybe three leaping over the subject is its favorite acrobatic move so what did we understand from this introduction that the direct object is an essential feature for transitive verbs otherwise the message intended to be delivered remains unclear and you would have to ask further questions to understand what's going on all right so the action of the transitive verb is traced back to its doer and directed toward its direct object like when we say fataha tariq al andalusa fataha means to open but based on this context it means to concur still the doors of the lands uh, are to be opened so to open the doors of a land means fataha also you can open anything just not just the door that we know not just the boring uh, object that we know so tariq conquered andalus so the verb needs the doer to do the action of the verb fataha to concur and the direct object to receive it to receive the action it is also called fi'lu fi'l fi'lu al-waqi' al-fi'lu al-waqi' al-fi'lu al-waqi' the verb of occurrence of happening because its action falls upon 
or happens to the direct object. The transitive verb may come uh, in contact with the direct object by means of prepositions, which stand between the verb and its direct object. For example, the have to bika, the have to go away, the have to bika. I went away with you, bika with you. So this is the object. The subject is me, the have to, and we have this preposition in between, separating the verb. Uh, and its subject from the object. I can rephrase this sentence with other form of verbs. The verb adhaba, adhaba form for. So we will have the same meaning, but the object will, attach, will be attached to the verb adhabtuka. Adhaba is to take away. So, adhabtuka, so we have here, this is one word. So, you may not recognize where is the subject and the object when uh, you have all in one. So, adhaba is attracting the subject, the implicit subject, and the object pronoun all together adhabtuka so the two stands for the subject and ka for the object ka you referring to you adhabtuka i took you away with me all right so let's check some examples asaba asayadu alhadafa asaba to hit Asayadu, the hunter hit the target. So we have asaba, the verb asaba, asayad al fa'il, the subject, and al hadaf, maf'ul bih, the object. Maf'ul bih. So, uh, asaba is form four. Tuhariku rihu as suhuba. Harreka means to move or to set in motion. And harreka is form two. So, the wind moves the clouds. Harreka is conjugated in the present tense. A third person singular feminine because arih is feminine noun, the wind. So we have verb, subject, object. Very simple. Sayadkuru at-tarihu asma'a al-ulama'i. Zakara to mention. Zakara. When you prefix the conjugated verb with sa, you turn it to the future tense, the easiest tense to learn in Arabic. So, yadkuru, he mentions or he is mentioning. Sayadkuru, he will mention. Atariho, history will mention the names of the scientists. Asma'a. Names. Al ulama, al ulama, scientists. So, history will mention the names of the uh, scientists. Of course, we have to admire all of them because they do a lot for humanity. For example, اخترعه بن حيانا الكيمياء الحديثة. So, اخترعه is form. Eight to invent. So this important person, this Arab, Bnu Hayyan, invented modern chemistry. 
الكيمياء chemistry الحديثة modern it's modifying adjectives so what do we have we have the verb اخترع we have the subject بنحيانا and we have the object and its modifying adjective اكتشف بنو النفيسي الدورة الدموية اكتشف form 8 again is to discover so بنو النفيسي discovered the blood circulation الدورة circulation الدموية blood again we have verb plus subjects plus objects and its modifying adjective صنع الإدريسي مجسما للكرة الأرضية صنع to make مجسم model الكرة الأرضية earth a model for the earth in one word the globe مجسم للكرة الأرضية just simply the globe so الإدريسي made the globe All right. So, so with these examples, we have just one object. These kind of verbs are able to take one object. Asaba, harreka, dhakara, ikhtara, iktashafa. So what about two objects? What kind of verbs are able to have two objects? For example, أعطى الغني الفقير صدقة أعطى to give. So for the giving action, we have someone giving something to someone. So we need two objects. أعطى is form four. So the wealthy gave alms. To the poor. All right. So we need two objects. Object number one, to who, or to whom, and object number two, what, what did he give, and to whom. منح المدير الأستاذ جائزة. منح to award. Again, there is a giving action so the director awarded the teacher a prize okay someone to someone someone something to someone that's why we need two objects one object won't, won't be enough especially for the giving it action is note worthy that the verbs of assumption أفعال الظن are uh, transitive so you use them when you are not sure about what you are saying ظن حسب زعم خال حب this category of verbs belong to the Verbs of assumption. أفعالو الظني. Hab is a rigid, static verb and derivative that comes in one form, the imperative form. It has no uh, past tense or present tense. So these verbs impart the meaning of to suppose, to believe, to consider, to assume, to think. For example, لا أظن الحياة سهلة. I don't think that life is easy. This is the first object. This is the second object. Do you know the origin of these two objects? 
So if we omit لا أظن we would be left with الحياة سهلة The life is easy which is a nominal sentence with the subject and the predicate. But when we introduce the verb ظن to this nominal sentence they will change to first object, second object. مفعول به أول مفعول به ثاني Alright حسبت صديقي مريضا I thought that my friend was sick So if you delete حسبت I would have صديقي مريض The subject and its predicate But when you introduce the verb حسب to these two words that were once upon a time subject and object of a nominal uh, subject and predicate of a nominal sentence now they are object number one and object number two so we change the role of the subject predicate to object number one object number two with the introduction of the as the verbs of assumption okay the verbs of certitude أفعالو اليقيني اليقيني these words these verbs درا رأى علم ألفا وجد تعلم تعلم is from the verb تعلم تعلم to learn but here we use just the imperative form of this verb which means اعلم اعلم from the verb علم to know اعلم know that تعلم know that So these verbs impart the meaning of to know, to find, to realize. For example, Dareituka Sadiqan. I knew that you are sincere. So Dareitu, if we erase the verb with its subject, Dareitu, implicit subject, Dareitu. We would have ka referring to the second person, masculine, singular. Anta sadiqun. Ka sadiqan as a nominal sentence. Anta, anta sadiqun. So, subject, predicate. But if I say dareituka sadiqan, now we have the first object and the second object with the verb ra'a so if you use your eyes to see ra'a is to see that kind of verb won't have two objects but if you use your heart if you see with your heart uh, when you sense that kind of verb will take two objects what am I saying right now Seeing with eyes and seeing with hearts. So, رأيتُ الْعِلْمَ نَافِعًا. I saw that the science is useful. We don't see the science with our eyes. We see it with our heart, maybe with our brain. So you sense that the science is useful. In this case, we have. Uh, in this case, ra'a is ditransitive. But if I say, رَأَيْتُ الْقِطَارَ مُسْرِعًا I saw, I saw the train speeding. مُسْرِعًا is not an object. This is an adverb of manner. الحال الحال So, 
here this ra'a is able to take just one object because we used our eyes to see the train. You can see the train, but you cannot see the science. Form 4 verbs may take three objects at once. Akhbara or a'lama. Akhbara to inform, to notify. Akhbarat al nasa first object. Al hafla second object. Mu'ajjalan object number three. So the radio notified the people that the celebration had been postponed. On the other hand, the intransitive verb al fi'lu al lazim from the verb lazima 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 hold by or keep close to or stick to do not need or require any object for an efficient understanding of the sentence this verb this verb is very modest and happy with its fellow subject. For example, Tajamati as Suhubu. Tajamma form five verb means to congregate or to gather. The clouds gathered. You have understood the sentence perfectly without any uh, need of any subject, any object. Tahdaru al ardu. Ikhdarra is to become green. The earth becomes green. Ikhdarra is form nine verb. Yahtaru al mataru. It is raining. Hatala. Hatala to pour down. تبرق النجوم برقا to dazzle to sparkle to shine النجوم the stars shine or dazzle أظلم الليل أظلم form four أظلم to darken or to become dark so الليل the night darkened here, اعتدل الجو اعتدل to become moderate. So the weather became moderate. اعتدل الجو. So الفعل المتعدي الفعل اللازم. So الفعل المتعدي opposing الفعل اللازم. Naturally. Everything has its opposite side in this world. And the Arabic verbs are no exception. As in Chinese philosophy, yin and yang. So never stop learning because life never stops teaching. Until then, you like me, you like me, and like me, and miss me, and you keep learning Arabic. And I will pop this for you from July 4th celebration. I'm scared of this, but I will do it for you. All right. Another one. Here we go. Let's celebrate. Oh my gosh. Okay. Ma'asalamah.